Uh, if you look to your right, you'll see death fall off that edge. It's kind of over with. We're following Mr. DDG. I don't know where we're going, bro. I know I know my voice kind of sounds messed up, bro. <clears throat> Let me tell you guys something, okay? My throat is gone after yesterday's adventure, okay? I froze my nuts off. I felt like there were spikes in my balls, my huevos. It was really cold, bro. Uh, yesterday at the beach, if you guys didn't see yesterday's video, uh, we went to Santa Monica Beach and unfortunately the results are in and now i have a stuffy nose and my throat hurts nice i'm a little under the weather right now but it's all good right now i'm just hanging out with my brother valentine is not here with us she went to go get her nails done and all that you know oh why do you look like a bodyguard what am i supposed to do you're super stiff though. no i do a great impression of a hot dog <laughs> if you don't know what movie that is, we're on our way. I don't know. Actually, I don't know where we're going right now. I'm just following Daryl. We're to, both we're both lost. We're right DDG. And we're follow, I'm just following him. We're going to some clothing store, and it's supposedly it's lit. I don't know. I don't know if you guys know this, but the first level of GTA where they knock the they pull the guy's house down, that's the house. And then over here is uh, Franklin's cribs right here. This seems like a pretty long drive. So since we're going like through this like scenic route, I think there's a lot of stuff that I could tell you guys about the area that we're in. This is actually the street where Back to the Future was filmed in 1976. This is one of the houses that was used in uh, Famous Housewives. This is Jim Carrey's house. Jim Carrey lives in there. This is this is LeBron's house right here. This is the road on the way to Rodeo. The Rock's house. In case you guys don't know, that's the Rock's crib, bro. It's fire. Uh, all right, let me show you. If we go down here a little bit more, there's Jamie Foxx crib right here, bro. You guys know who Jamie Foxx is? Uh, he's like a he's like an R&B singer slash movie actor. Whoopi Goldberg lives here. Um, she moved in in 1732. It's one of the Kardashians walking right there. Okay, I kind of veered off a little bit, but. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. Hopefully, I can get over here. Okay, cool. You see this house right here? This white one right here? That's Channing Tatum's crib. This is entering into Rodeo, so this is where a lot of big famous people live. That's Will Smith's crib right there. That's Vin Diesel's crib right here. You guys know who uh, that white dude uh, from Twilight? At the guy that played Edward Cullen. That's his crib right here. So just a couple of the uh, famous people uh, cribs. I just wanted to show some of you guys. I know you guys might not know or care about any of those, but <laughs> but somehow we ended up in Rodeo, bro. I knew it. I knew we were gonna end up in Rodeo, bro. Damn it! All the way to Rodeo. Every good store is either closed. Basically, we drove 35 minutes to get some water. Yeah, down there. Just grab some water and just walk around. We ain't doing nothing, bro. Absolutely nothing. And he got a mask. That's about it. Can't go in, Louis. Gotta wait 40 minutes. Can't go in. You know what? I'm give a fuck. I'm All right, guys. So I just came back from the jeweler right now, and Valentine is downstairs. I got Valentine a really big surprise. I've been waiting for this. I was hoping I would have got this by the day of our anniversary, which was a couple days ago. But unfortunately, it didn't arrive in time. He wasn't able to get it done in time. But it is done now. I just picked it up. I got it right here. Valentine's downstairs and she's about to go ahead to her little photo shoot, but before she heads off, I want to surprise her, so um, I haven't even seen it yet, so hopefully it's fire. Yeah. Hi. You know. Hi. Valentine hasn't seen this yet either. This is your anniversary, our anniversary gift. Well, my anniversary gift to you. <laughs> so, I haven't even seen it yet, I swear to God. Woo! <laughs> What do you what? think? Like what do you it. think? I like it. It's fire? That's fire. It's for you. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, okay, I'm out. 
Alright. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. All right, here. Take this necklace off and put this one on. Woo! <laughs> oh my god, pictures. Yeah? <laughs> Who's the photographer? He's one of my close friends, the one that did my birthday shoot. My Why don't you just have me do this shoot? Because you make me feel weird. Like, I can't take you professionally. Like, I get nervous. I am a you. professional. I know, but I can't take you from, like, it's... Go ahead and work the camera. No, I can't! Go ahead. I can't me... with you. I hit can't the pose. Hit the hit hand behind the head. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay, yes. You're a lion. Yes. No, you're a stop. tiger. You're a, you're an animal. Give me stop. beef. Give me, give me, give me ferocious. Give me, give me... Get the out of You guys are probably wondering, Chino, what the heck? Are you wearing or why are you wearing that? It's because today is my big day. Valentine went to a photo shoot. He's gonna be heading back here within the next 20 minutes. And I wanna be dressed my best. When Valentine gets back, I just wanna get her reaction. If I were to dress super proper, I look like I own four Lamborghinis, three Ferraris, two Jets, and um, for math classes. So when she gets back, I'm just gonna be talking super proper, obnoxious. We're just gonna see how she reacts to me as if I were super proper. I think this looks kind of dashing. <laughs> oh! Hello. Hi, sweetie. Hunting for tigers <laughs> or lions. This is not a tiger. Well, we can't wear. This is cheetah print. Yeah, but nobody's. No, we can't be seen like this. You're wearing a plaid shirt under a dressy jacket. What are you talking about? You want me to wear something like this? That is. Oh, I know, I know. Would this work? This is very like silky. It's just wrinkly. No, it looks like you're going to bed wearing this. Please. No, this is a dress. No, it's not a dress. It's fashion over. It's much too cheap. <laughs> what? I'm weak. Okay, okay, okay. What about <laughs> what about this one? What about? Hmm. No, 
yourself. You might have a problem there, Sir Butler. I don't think I have anything that's more fancy. Then I will take you to Rodeo and I will get you the finest Gucci. Why? Dress. It's not even that important. You literally took me to a freaking Taco Bell yesterday in an outfit. And you want me to go in a Gucci dress? You hurry up and pick. Are we really going to go out to eat? Yes, of course. I have Babe. aligned the finest wine and dine. And I've rented out my private Ferrari for tonight's event. You don't have Ferrari. Babe's not talking like this. Like I have three Ferraris. No, you don't. I get you're doing a video, but come on, stop. I have three Ferraris. Babe, no you don't. You have a BMW. Stop. It's a Ferrari no, it's in my house. Right. No, babe, stop talking like this. Or, or, or really, am I really getting, getting ready? Or? Yes, we're getting ready. No, it's not talking like this. Do you want to endure tonight's festivities? Or do you want... <laughs> babe, stop. Stop. I have aligned the greatest... I can't. This is normal. Stop. Can you please throw some stuff? Stop talking like this. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Can you just watch me back in there? I'm just gonna say like this, honestly. Let's just go. If you want to indulge Stop. in the fire. <laughs> 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 Do I look stupid? Yeah. What do I look like? No, it's not that you look stupid, it's that you look stupid and you sound like ridiculous. You're like, do you want to go and indulge in tonight's festivities? You like, they do this? They pet their shirt. You know, you got a freaking animal in there? No, I just... Your tea's ready. This way. <laughs> do it. Go like that. This way. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs>